Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and welcome back to the Country Farm roleplay map. So, when we last left off, we were exploring around and trying to find some new areas. Now, between now and then, or I should say then and now, obviously, night has passed, and uh, I don't know where we slept last night. We either slept in the truck or in this random shed, uh, whichever one, I don't know, whichever one was more comfortable, probably the truck, if I had to guess. But we have a hauling job, and we need to go pick up our trailer first, and then we need to actually come back out around this direction, and, or around this area, I should say, and pick up a tractor that needs to go back to a shop to get some work done. So let's go ahead and fire the truck up. Got beans right there on the dash, ready to go. And let's make our way out to the main road. Now, our trailer is waiting for us down at the shop, and, like I said before, I need to get back to the main road. So, the main road is actually right out there. But I'm not actually sure where I'm going because, you know, I just moved here recently. So, I'm not too familiar with the area just yet. And I think I see a road out there that goes to the main road. But I need to figure out a way to get to it. Let me actually consult my GPS real quick. And, oh, I see. So, I actually have gone the wrong way. And I need to circle back the way I came. Okay, well, actually, no, I don't need to circle back the way I came because I can go through this little... I cannot go through the driveway, but I can go past the barn. Yep, as the sun comes up, I am already probably annoying the crap out of these people, but don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's fine. Actually, since I'm not going to be coming back this way, I'll wake him up with my train horn. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's going to be just fine. It's all good. All right, we'll make our way out onto this, onto this back road. And we'll put some fuel to the truck. We'll get on out of here. Come on. She does not want to go above fifth gear. Like, fifth gear is where she wants to stay, y'all. Fifth gear is where she wants to stay this morning. Yeah, I can even, you know, tap the clutch to kind of encourage it to shift up. And it's like, nah, I don't need to shift up for you. I'm good. All right, I'm just going to roll that stop. I'm not even worried about it. Oh, geez, this road must have seen a lot of rain last night because... It is super sloppy. Let me see. All right. Finally, main road. Check right. And we're good to go. Now, everything should be fine. I don't want to jinx anything, but everything should be fine once we get our trailer hooked up. Now, we should be able to actually go a little quicker now that we're on the main road. Although, this thing does start to kind of walk around a little bit when you start going pretty quick on the pavement. Easy. All right, welcome to town. Let's go. Try not to go too far over the mustard. All right, now if we get down here to where you guys can see this garage area, this is where we should be able to pick up our new trailer. Hey, they actually left it outside ready for us. That's awesome. So all we got to do is pull in, back up to it, and hook it up. All right, let's pull in real quick. And we'll back up and get our trailer hooked up. We've already gone ahead and paid for it and everything. We actually did the entire deal over the phone, so that's why it's just chilling out out here, just waiting for us. Let's ease it back. Ease it back. And we should be within range to hook it up. There we go. Good to go. Gotta say, it looks great back there. It really, really does look great back there. All right, let's go ahead and set off. And let's go find that tractor that we need to haul to the shop. Let's make sure and check real quick. All right, we're good. You know, it's one of those things where even though the traffic is real low today, I'm not really... Oh, sorry about your grass, buddy. Sorry about your grass. I'm not too worried about it, but let's go ahead and also consult our GPS real quick to make sure we're going the right way. And actually, we can go the right... Okay, so let's go ahead and head on down the road. We'll make a right-hand turn, and we should be able to get pretty close... To where that tractor is without issue now i think the guy said on the phone that the tractor runs but it's got some engine issues that need to be addressed at the shop and a couple of other things so we should be able to drive it onto the trailer and not have any issues there we shouldn't have to winch it on i'm prepared to do that if we need to but uh but we should be okay on that front all right let's go ahead and make a right real quick again sorry about y'all's grass i'm not gonna worry about it if y'all don't worry about it yeah, I can already tell you that, like, once we're getting down into this mud, I can already tell you that with just the trailer behind me, 
this thing kind of gear, you know, gear hunts between like second and third gear. So I don't know how it's going to be with weight on it. We'll see. Now that tractor should be coming into view pretty soon. Oh, it does not like high. That was not a good, uh, that was not a good decision to put it in high. Easy. Cool little house though. I actually like how it's got like the side garage and everything. All right. So I think I could see the roof of the tractor just over, yeah, just over the corn right there. If you guys can see it. Well, you might not be able to see it anymore. There it is. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and back the trailer up to it as close as we can get. And that way, it'll make it just a little bit easier. Now, it appears as though it drove in there and then just kind of, I guess, got left. I'm not sure why. So, I'm going to see if I can uh, position my trailer correctly. And I'm not going to worry about these pumpkins if y'all don't worry about them. It's going to be fine. All right, easy. I'm going to try and back in on sort of like a diagonal. That way we can kind of be within the right range. Oop, we've done that wrong. It's all right. And uh, yeah, these pumpkins are not having a good time. They are not having a good time. I don't want to get too far off the road. So I tell you what, I'm just going to position myself right here and put it back into low. And let's go ahead and lower those ramps before we shut the truck down and go take a look at the tractor. Now, everything seems normal. But, you know, who knows? It might, he might even be taking it to the shop to get some other things added to it. But why, why it is parked the way it is, I have absolutely no idea. But you know what? It's not really our job to question where it's parked. It's just our job to haul the thing. So let's see if it fires up. Oh, it fires up real easy, actually. It fires up super easy. Seems to drive fine. But again, I wouldn't want to drive it for too long if the guy said it had issues. All right, let's get her on up onto the trailer. See if we can position this correctly the first time. Seems okay. Yep, seems okay to me. I don't want it too far up the trailer. Because if we're too far up, it's going to be off balance with the weight. That seems like an okay place. I mean, we still got the rear axle of the tractor over the forwardmost axle of the trailer so I feel like we're kind of in a good position weight balance wise I don't want it too far back but I also don't want it too far forward so let's go ahead and hop out of the tractor now get in the truck and let's get it fastened down it's good to go fire the truck back up and uh, we'll go ahead and just throw our ramps back up and uh, we'll be good to head out I think if the ramps want to come back up there we go all right not too bad so let's also go ahead and check the GPS and make sure that we know where we're going because I can't remember if he wanted it here or if he wanted it here. We're going to have to check back and find out. So I just got off the phone with the guy and apparently I was very wrong. Apparently he wants it here. I've never been here before, but uh, we're going to see we're going to see what happens along the way. We're going to see what kind of routes we run into and hopefully it's a fairly uneventful journey. So let's go ahead and throw it into low minus to go ahead and get right out of the mud right there. Not too shabby. Yeah, this thing has done wonders, absolute wonders with these new lockers. It absolutely just does so well in the mud. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw it back into automatic now. Third gear, I think, is about, about the best we're going to get out here on the dirt. But you know what? Oh, I'm sorry about that corn. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not going to worry about it if y'all don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, this thing has actually done really well for me, man. It's done really, really well for me. And it's honestly been a super reliable truck. Like, I would definitely... I would pick this thing any day. Super reliable truck. And definitely a truck that I would say, like, doesn't really seem to have any considerable issues. That's for sure. Yeah, third gear definitely seems to be her max on uh, on the dirt, though. At least with this particular engine and gearbox setup and with that weight behind it as well. But the auto gearbox isn't too terrible when you have weight behind you. It actually seems to behave better with weight behind it than it does with an empty trailer, which is interesting to me. Whoa, it went up in a fourth gear. That is not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, it wanted third. Actually, it wanted second. Easy. All right, getting back up to the main road now, and we're going to have to make a quick run through town. 
Let's go ahead and check and see. Yep, we're good. I'm going to swing fairly wide here. Hopefully not too wide. Oh, that's too wide. Way too wide. Sorry to all the all the traffic I'm blocking or not blocking because there isn't any traffic there. Uh, but again, you know, we're not going to worry about this town's current lack of population. Uh, it's, uh, it's fine. They're all just uh, on vacation, I'm sure. Sleepy little town, though. Very sleepy little town. Easy does it. Keep her on the road there, bud, I'll tell you. How you doing, Beans? Just checking in. How's your week been so far, buddy? Not too bad? Good. God, this thing's rolling out, though. Like, once you get it out on the pavement, like, it rolls out pretty dang well. Now, we are into a little bit of uncharted territory down here. I've personally never been this far out of town, so hopefully we don't get lost or anything like that. But we have a little, little location marker on our GPS, so that should be all good. We may need some diesel soon. We're almost down to half a tank, so definitely going to start looking for a fuel station. Maybe not just yet, but whoa! Whoa, the trailer, whoa! That got a little out of sorts on me real quick. Not quite sure how that happened, but very strange there. Definitely very strange. All right, I'm going to swing this thing around. Make my way back through to the right. There you go. I was trying to do it without getting too far into the grass, which I mostly avoided the grass. We're getting a little bit better at this whole, uh, at this whole hauling business deal. Just make it a little bit further on. Once again, I'm not sure why the guy wants this tractor dropped off here, but you know what? All he did was hired me to do it. I don't need to ask questions about why he wants me to drop it off here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and swing the trailer wide for this one too. That way it doesn't get caught on anything. This time it's actually important to not get it caught on anything. There we go. Not bad. All right. This man must be in the oil business if he wants me to drop it off here. Well, like I said before, that's really all, you know, that's all up to him. So let's go ahead and throw those ramps down. We'll shut this guy off and we will unhook the tractor and we'll go ahead and unload her off the trailer. Get it backed up real quick and we'll make, it, we'll make sure it's out of the way. We're not going to leave it like right in the middle of everything, like right in the middle of the parking lot. We're just going to make sure that she's out of the way and good to go. This seems like a decent enough spot. Shut it down. Not bad. And that is a successful tractor delivery out here on the Country Farm RP map. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And you ha if you have any other RP ideas, make sure you leave them in the comments below as well. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.